After completing development trials successfully, the RDO's very short-range air defense system is now all set to start user trials. The competition for the Moroccan infantry fighting vehicle contract was fierce, but Tata Motors WAP defeated China's Norinco ZBL-8 infantry fighting vehicle to win the competition. Dynamatic Technologies has entered into a partnership with Australian manufacturer Orbital UAV, to acquire their Orbital 150cc heavy fuel engine, to power a long endurance tactical UAV being developed by Dynamatic Technologies. Cochin Shipyard has started work on its SWAT project, that aims to develop a fully autonomous 14-ton unmanned surface vehicle, that is expected to enter developmental trials in 2026. The RDO's Naval Science and Technological Laboratory has inaugurated a cutting-edge land-based submarine battery test facility, that is designed to test submarine batteries based on lithium-ion technology. The RDO chief has said, that India will be among the leading exporters of defense equipment in 10 years, and the imports will come down to 5 to 10 percent. The Aeronautical Development Establishment is seeking qualified drone pilots with extensive experience in UAV operations to join its drone projects. During his first official state visit to India, Maldives President has said, that Maldives would never take actions that undermines the security of India. Indian Air Force's Rafale fighter jet has successfully shot down a Chinese spy balloon-like target flying at an altitude of over 15 kilometers, under a training exercise that took place a few months ago under the Eastern Air Command, showcasing the capability of the Air Force to handle airborne threats. The target was smaller than the spy balloon shot down by the US Air Force's F-22 fighter jet in early 2023 at an altitude of 55,000 feet. As the Indian Air Force continues to face delays in the materialization of the $20 billion MRFA tender, concerns are growing over whether this long-awaited procurement will ever come to fruition, as the government is increasingly hesitant to allocate such a massive amount to a single procurement, when other pressing defense programs also require attention. Instead of waiting for the MRFA tender to proceed, the Air Force has an opportunity to collaborate with the Indian Navy's TED-BF program, as it could meet Air Force's requirements at a fraction of the cost, as it has been designed for both air superiority and ground attack missions. Indian Air Force officials have raised concerns over the use of a single-engine Tejas aircraft as a flying test bed for the upcoming cavalry afterburner variant, and the Air Force has advised to test the engine on a twin-engine platform to minimize risks. The gas turbine research establishment is targeting an initial wet thrust output of 75 kN, while the goal is to push it to 80 kN. The DRDO will also seek funding for the Cavalry 2 engine program, that will generate up to 92 kN, placing it between the American F-404 and F-414 engines. As per latest reports, the follow-on order of six improved Netra Mark 1A systems mounted on Embraer aircraft will be cleared in the next Defense Acquisition Council meeting. The contract for modification of six Airbus A321 aircraft acquired from Air India for Netra Mark II program is still pending, as modifications required for the aircraft turned out to be significantly more extensive and complex than anticipated, and thus the negotiations over the cost with Airbus have dragged on, and the process has been delayed. Today's Top 3 Comments <laughs>